Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Wednesday, August 21st, 2024. Today we'll recap yesterday's MLB, WNBA, Soccer, Little League World Series. Look we'll ahead everything going on today. We also have another golf tournament that is going to be starting. This one is the um, BMW Championship, and then we have News and Notes and Best Bet. We'll start with baseball. We'll go over the results. From yesterday and look ahead to today's action. D backs over to Marlins 3 1. Rockies over to Nationals 3 1. Guardians over to Yankees 9 5 and 12. Jays over to Reds 10 3. O's over to Mets 9 5. Braves over to Phillies 3 1. So best bet wins again. Brewers over to Cardinals 3 2. Cubs over to Tigers 3 1. Pirates over to Rangers 4 0. Angels over to Royals 9 5. Red Sox over to Astros 6 5. Padres over to Twins 7 5. Rays over to A's 1-0. Giants over to White Sox 4-1. Dodgers over to Mariners 6-3. All right, 1 o'clock on MLB Network. We have a couple of matinee games today. O's Mets. Um, Cole Irvin and Sean Manaya. Mets got to win here. I mean, the, so do the O's. To, uh, because if the O's lose and the Yankees win, the Yankees are right back in first place. So it's a must for both teams, especially the Mets. Um, Being at home and a couple games out of the playoffs, um. They're minus 130 to O's are plus 110 over under 8.5. Over's minus 105. Others minus 115. O's plus 1.5 is minus 184. Mets minus 105 plus 152. I like the over. 2 o'clock MLB Network. Red Sox, Astros, Cooper, Chriswell, and Justin Verlander are coming back. Astros minus 144. Red Sox plus 122 over under 8.5. Over's minus 120. Others minus 102. Red Sox plus 1.5 is minus 172. Astros minus 1.5 plus 142. Who knows how Verlander's going to look, so I'm going to take Boston at plus 122. 2.30, Pirates, Rangers, um, Domingo Herman and Andrew Heaney. Rangers minus 158, Pittsburgh plus 134, over under 8.5, over is minus 105, under is minus 115. Pirates plus 1.5 is minus 152, Rangers minus 1.5 plus 126, like the under. 3.45, White Sox, Giants, Greyer, Crochet, and Logan Webb. Giants minus 230, White Sox plus 190, over under 7, over is minus 105, under is minus 115. Sox plus one half is minus one twenty eight. Giants minus one half plus one six like the under. Six thirty D backs Marlins. Jordan Montgomery and Renderi Mundas. D backs minus one sixty eight. Marlins plus one forty two over under eight and a half minus one twenty joy. D backs minus one half is minus one four. Marlins plus one half is minus one fifteen over. Love 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 the over. Twins Padres um Simeon Woods Richardson Matt Waldron. Padres minus one twenty six. Twins plus one eight. Over under eight and a half. Over is plus one eight. Or plus one four. Under is minus one twenty eight. Twins plus one half is minus one eight four. Padres minus one half plus one six. I'm going back to the well. I'm taking Minnesota on the money line. Plus one eight. Rockies National six forty five. Tanner Gordon and Mitch Parker. Nats minus one fifty eight. Rockies plus one thirty four. Over under eight and a half. Over is minus one five. Under is minus one fifteen. Rockies plus one half is minus one sixty two. Nats plus one or minus one half is plus one thirty four. I like the over. Seven o'clock on Prime. Well, on Prime in New York. Um, Guardians, Yankees, Joey Cantillo and Nestor Cortez. Um, Yankees minus one eighty four. Guardians plus one fifty four. Over under eight and a half. Overs even money. Unders minus one twenty two. Guardians plus one half is minus thirty seven. Yankees minus one half plus one fourteen. I'm surprised that the Guardians are over plus one fifty here, but granted. Cantillo has an over six year array. That's why. Um, anyway, the picks me do over at even money. Um, Reds, Jays. But yeah, the disrespect of the Guardians in the betting market. Yesterday's a good example. Against the Cubs was a good example that one day. Um, Nick Martinez, Yariel Rodriguez. Reds minus 110. Jays minus 106. Over under 8. Overs minus 120. Unders minus 102. Reds minus 1 half plus 46. Jays plus 1 half is minus 78. I'm going to go with the Reds, minus 110. Uh, Phil's Braves, 720. Aaron Nola and Max Freed, good pitching matchup. Um, Braves, minus 112. Phillies, minus 104. For under 7.5. Overs, minus 120. Under is minus 102. Phil's, minus 1.5 is plus 152. Braves, plus 1.5 is minus 184. I'm going to go with the Phillies at minus 104, only because um, I don't know if I trust the 7.5 under. 
745 on Fox Sports 1 is Brewers Cardinals, Tobias Myers, and Kyle Gibson. Cards minus 116, Brewers minus 102, over under 7.5, overs minus 105, unders minus 115. Brewers minus 1.5 is plus 58, cards plus 1.5 is minus 192. The disrespect the Milwaukee in the betting market, as well as Cleveland. We're to say Cleveland's disrespected, so is Milwaukee. I'm taking the Brewers minus 102. 8 o'clock, the Tigers and the Cubs, TBD, and Jamison Tyon. Cubs minus 162, Tigers plus 136, over under 7.5, overs minus 122, unders even money. Tigers plus one half is minus 162. Cubs minus one half plus 134. So I'm going to do an alternate total again. Over eight and a half runs plus 114. Angels Royals. Johnny Cueto. I thought he retired. That's funny. <laughs> and Michael Lorenzen. Um. Royals minus 178. Angels plus 150 over under nine and a half. Over is even money. Under is minus 122. Angels plus one half is minus one twenty eight. Royals minus one half plus one oh six. Royals run line. I don't know if I trust um Quato. Nine thirty Rays A's, Ryan Papai and Matt, uh, Mitch Spence. Rays minus one thirty two, A's plus one twelve over under seven half. Over is minus one six, under is minus one fourteen. Rays minus one half plus one thirty two. A's plus one half is minus one sixty. I like the over. And last but not least, ten o'clock, MLB Network, Baroner Dodgers, Logan Gilbert, and Jack Flaherty. Um, Dodgers minus 178, Mariners plus 150, over under 7.5, overs minus 118, unders minus 104, Mariners plus 1.5 is minus 152, Dodgers minus 1.5 plus 126, I like the under. Alright, now move on to soccer, um, or the WNBA, my bad, um, we'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to today. Liberty over the Wings, 94-74, Sun over the Sparks, 69-61. And the storm over the Mystics, 83-77. All right, two games tonight, 7.30 of Mercury Dream. You would expect the Mercury are favored. Um, only by two. Total 165 and a half. Woo! John Jastrzemski of the Ringer would call this a rat line. And I'm going to take his theory. I'm taking the Dream plus the two and plus 106. And 9.30 on ESPN, Lynx Aces, good game. Um, The Aces are giving 5.5, and a half, total 166 and a half. Um, That's a tough one. Um, I'm going to go lay the points with the Aces because they've been a little better against the elite competition. So I'm going to lay the points in this one. All right, now we'll move on to soccer. Um... We'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to today. Um, we have a lot of UCL qualifying to talk about. Then we also have League Cup as well. Dynamo Zagreb over FK Karabakh, 3 0. Bodo Glimt over Red Star, 2 1. Lille over Slavia Pergu, 2 0. I did say I would bet all those in a parlay. I wish I did. Or you don't have as many playoff round games today. So, 3 o'clock, Young Boys and Galastari. Um, Galastari is minus 115. Young Boys plus 260. Drop plus 250. I'm going Galastari plus 115. Magellan and Slovan Bratislava. Magellan's minus 10. Slovion is plus 490. The draw is 3 to 1. The draw 3 to 1 is really enticing. I'm going to take it. Dynamo Kaiv and RB Salzburg. Salzburg's plus 125. Dynamo plus 180. Draw plus 40. Red Bull's the better team. Plus 125. And last but not least, Malmo Sparta. Malmo plus 115. Sparta plus 210. Draw plus 220. Interesting how well Malmo is playing in their favorite. I'm going to take the draw, though, at plus 220. And League's Cup tonight, the semifinals. 7.30. Your reigning MLS champion, Columbus Crew, against 
the Eastern Conference champion of two seasons ago, the Philadelphia Union. The Columbus Crew, minus 230. The Philadelphia Union, plus 480. Draws, plus 370. The Union have been a different team since Andre Blake came back. Um, They've won four of their last five. They've been on fire. The Crew won their last three. I do think Columbus is going to win. I'm taking over three and a half goals at minus 08, but I do not. Feel good about it. I'm tempted to take the draw. But I just don't feel have a strong feel for this one. So I kind of like the over. Taking the value. And then 10 o'clock, LAFC Colorado. LAFC minus 50. Colorado 5 1. The draw plus 350. LAFC is winning this game. I feel pretty good about that. Over 3 and a half goals is the pick at plus 114. All right, now move on to the Little League World Series. We'll go over. The results from yesterday and look ahead to today. Elimination games. Venezuela over Aruba 2-1. Hawaii over Pennsylvania 3-1. Mexico over Cuba 6-4. Florida over New York 6-1. All right, today, 1 o'clock ESPN double elimination. You have Chinese Taipei in Japan. That's going to be a great matchup. I think Chinese Taipei wins that. 3 o'clock on ESPN is Nevada, Texas. The Nevada team's been impressive. I'm going to take them. 5 o'clock ESPN, Venezuela, Mexico. Double elimination. Um, go Mexico. And then also on ESPN is Florida, Hawaii. So I guess Florida and Mexico and Venezuela, I guess... They're back into the, the top bracket. That's weird. Um, so we'll go Mexico in the first one. In the 7 o'clock game, I'm going to go with Hawaii. But I don't feel good about it. I know I keep picking Hawaii. All right, golf. Um, We have the BMW Championship coming up. But I don't have the tee times in front of me. Um, I'm going to look and see if PGA.com has it. If not, then I'm going to just look at the odds on FanDuel and uh, see who I like. Hmm. That's very strange. And in golf is almost at like a hiatus point. In terms of, um, like, a break. Because don't they usually have a break, like, in the win- like in the fall and the winter? Oh, we have some big names in here. Let's go. Scotty's 3-1. to one, Xander's plus 550. Rory's 12-1. Colin Morikawa is 14-1. Cantlay. Matsuyama and Hovland are 18-1. to one. Lovey Goldberg is 22-1. Wendell Clark's 25-1. Tony Fino and Tommy Fleetwood are 28-1. to one. Sam Burns is 33 Billy Horschel and Russell Henley are 40. Justin Thomas is 45. 50 to 1, you have Aaron Ray, Corey Connors, Cam Young, Sanjay M, Sahith Thiglia. 55 to 1, Adam Scott. 60 to 1, Jason Day. 65 to 1, Nick Dunlap, Davis Thompson. 71, Robert McIntyre. 75 to 1, Ashke Bahita, Matt Fitzpatrick. 80 to 1, Christian Ziedenhout. Will Zalatoris, Max Creaserman, Shane Lowry. 90 to 1, Brian Harmon, Bian Ganon, Taylor Pendrith. 100 to 1, Danny McCarthy. 110 to 1, Alex Loren, Keegan, Bradley, Austin, Eckroat, Seb Straka, Tom Hogue. 12 to 1, Eric Colt, Saiwu Kim, Max Homa, Thomas D. Tree, Cam Davis. 170 to 1, Chris Kirk and Adam Hadwin. 200 to 1, Stefan Yeager and JT Potson. And Matthew Pavon is 270 to 1. All right. I know this is only 14 to 1, but I think Mal- uh, Colin Morikawa is due for a win. So, I'm going to do a 50th of a unit on 14 to 1 for Colin Morikawa to win the BMW Championship.
Okay, now I'm going to do my NFL guard rankings. I almost forgot about the guard rankings, which would have not been ideal. I know I would have had to do both guards and centers tomorrow, and that would have been a pain in the butt. So, I do the projected starting guards on each team. So, 64 guards. So, without further ado, here we go. 64, Dominic Puny, 49ers. 63, Tyler Steen, Eagles. 62, Kenyon Green, Kenya Green, Texans. 61, Ben Bredesen, Buccaneers. 60, Lucas Patrick, Saints. 59, Blake Brandle, Vikings. 58, Daniel F- F- Falele, Ravens. 57, Cordell Volson, Bengals. 56, Andrew Voorhees, Ravens. 55, Anthony Bradford, Seahawks. 54, Cody Mock, Bucks. 53, John Simpson, Jets. 52, Nick. Allegretti, Commanders. 51, Ed Ingram, Vikings. 50, Jackson Powers, Johnson, Raiders. 49, Aaron Banks, 49ers. 48, Will Fries, Colts. 47, Dylan Parham, Raiders. 46, Evan Brown, Cardinals. 45, Trey Pickens, the third, Chargers. 44, Robert Thomas, Dolphins. 43, James Daniel, Steelers. 42, Ben Powers, Broncos. 41, Matthew Bergeron, Falcons. 40, Osiris Torrance, Bills. 39, Cesar Ruiz, Saints. 38, Dylan Raddins, Titans. 37, Zion Johnson, Chargers. 36, David Edwards, Bills. 35, Will Hernandez, Cardinals. 34, Jonah Jackson, Rams. 33, City So, Patriots. 32, John Ronyan, Giants. 31, Lakin Tomlinson, Seahawks. 30, Nate Davis, Bears. 29, Damian Lewis, Panthers. 28, Jordan Morgan, Packers. 27, Peter Skaronsky, Titans. 26, Brandon Scherf, Jaguars. 27, Ezra Cleveland, Jaguars. 24, Graham Glasgow, Lions. 23, Alex Kappa, Bengals. 22, Isaac Samolo, Steelers. 21, Greg Van Rotten, Giants. 20, Kevin Dotson, Rams. 19, Kevin Zeitler, Raid, uh, Lions. I almost said Raiders. 18, Landon Dickinson, Eagles. 17, Tevin Jenkins, Bears. 16, Elgden Jenkins, Packers. 15, Shaq Mason, Texans. 14, Isaiah Wynn, Dolphins. 13, Sam Cosme, Commanders. 12, Trey Smith, Chiefs. 11, Elijah Vera, Tucker, Jets. 10, Tyler Smith, Cowboys. 8, or 9, Tyler Smith, Cowboys. Oh, wait. 10 is Tyler Smith of the Cowboys. 9, Quentin Nelson, Colts. 8, Wyatt Teller, Browns. 7, Michael Unwenu, Patriots. 6, Joel Batonio, Browns. Five, Robert Hunt, Panthers. Four, Joe Thune, Chiefs. Three, Quinn Meaner, Broncos. Two, Zach Martin, Cowboys. And number one, Chris Lindstrom of the Atlanta Falcons. He might have been my number one guard last year, Chris Lindstrom. I'm going to check my history right now and see where I had him. I had him number two, and Zach Martin, I had one. So it flipped this year because of how dominant Chris Lindstrom's been, and um, Zach Martin kind of saw a dip in his stats and his health has declined a little bit too. Quinn Miner has been really good for Denver, or Miner. Joe Thune, good veteran of the Chiefs. Rob, Robert Hunt on the Panthers, a big free agent pickup there. Joel Petonio has... Been solid still. Michael and we knew. Same for Wyatt Teller. Quentin Nelson used to be the top dog, but he's kind of declined. Tyler Smith's going to be really good. So Elijah Vera Tucker. Trey Smith's really good. Sam Cosme is coming off a good season. I mean, I don't love the guard position. I think it's kind of weak compared to, say, tackle. But there's some good guards. Not the less. And a lot of, like, veteran guys that have bounced around that um, can help you. So there you have it for the guard rankings. Now I'll move on to the news and notes for today. Um, Pete Carroll to teach at USC as he's still open to coaching. That's interesting. Um... Neuer retires from Germany as he announces his international retirement after 124 caps. So, that's, um, 
very sad for Germany soccer. Um, so there was a concert at Schurz Park, and it had outfield, and it damaged the outfield. Yikes. All right, Adam Sandler says that Travis Kelsey is in Happy Gilmore 2. So that's pretty cool. So there was a uh, WNBA game at TD Garden. Sun Sparks. So that's pretty cool. And the WNBA trade deadline was yesterday as well. Um, The Storm signed Gabby Williams. After Gabby led France to the uh, Olympic Finals. How about this? The SEC basketball schedule came out. We have the return date for Calipari back to Kentucky. February 1st in Lexington. I think it's going to be a mixed reaction. I really do. Damian Lillard says he feels underrated as he says his consistency is taken for granted. So Matty Beniers gets a, an extension from the Kraken. Um, seven years over $49 million. That's pretty good, over $7 million a year. Um, so the Flyers rave, waived Ryan Johansson as they terminated his contract due to a material breach. Tyron Tracy, the Giants rookie running back, has a new nickname, which is funny. So, um, good news for the Cowboys. Um, as they're and CD Lamb are not far apart. There's growing belief that Lamb will be at the Cowboys week one against the Browns. That's huge for them. Matt Judon has opened the Patriots return as he said he can't rule out anything. He was Brady retired or Patriots, so maybe I can. Their team's eyeing um Dorian Thompson Robinson as the team's off feeling offers for him. Kyle Shanahan says zero updates. Nothing has changed with Brandon Ayuk and Trent Williams. Not great. The Cardinals released Brandon Crawford. And the Red Sox released Dominic Smith. The Braves are working out Yuli Gurriel. At third base. And he is playing first right now at their AAA team. Whoa, Brian Flores reacts to the Tua comment as he's looking to grow from Tua calling him a terrible person. I know there are some Dolphin fans and such that um, didn't like Brian Flores because he didn't help develop Tua. I mean, remember we were all like... Outraged because they fired Brian Flores. I mean, looking back, um, Tua's better without him. So Tua has a point. But I wouldn't say he's a terrible person. Their QR codes on college football teams' helmets as Oklahoma State will have links to team fun on, on the lids this season. That's pretty interesting. Alabama lands a five-star running back, Aiklin Deer, as he picks Alabama over Ole Miss and Mississippi State. How about this? Delaware State is supposed to play Hawaii in week zero, which is coming up this weekend. And it's just crazy because I have to give out picks for those games on Friday's podcast. I don't think I'm going to count them towards the Fab Five because it's week zero. But Delaware State is scrambling to make its openers. They're working on a plan to make Week Zero against Hawaii after missing its flight. Holy crap. That's not ideal. But there you have it for the news and notes. And last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, I'm going to baseball. I love the over in the Marlins Diamondbacks game. I'm going to lay a 50th of a unit on it. 
And this is just easy stealing money. Jordan Montgomery has not been good for Arizona. And Munoz is not any better. So a 50th of a unit on over 8.5. Minus 110 between the D-backs and the Marlins for my best bet of the day. So there you have it for the show, and I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything. Look at everything tomorrow. We also have center rankings to do on tomorrow's show. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.